What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a continuation of our power up video and we're gonna teach you how to augment in Diablo 3 in season 28. I've been getting a lot of comments down in my YouTube videos about you know how to power up, how to get stronger, how to push to higher GRs, because that's very important, just going up as high as, as humanly possible. Um, how to help complete your seasonal journeys, how to complete all of your conquests, guys, inside of the new season. And I wanted to add another way to help boost your character's power to just over 9,000, okay? So if you guys did see that power of video, make sure to check it out. Um, but this is a continuation of that. So we're gonna go over how to augment in season 28. So let's get into a bunch of things because we got a lot of stuff to break down. So what is augmenting inside of Diablo 3? Well, you can come over to the Canaius Cube and page 10 out of 11, you have what's called Kaladin's, Kaladin's and Despair. I always butcher that. Uh, this is what's gonna create an ancient item that it becomes augmented. Okay, so what you need is one ancient item, like a Squirt's Necklace. You need three flawless royal amethyst, emeralds, ruby, or topazes. And then you need a legendary gem and then you transmute and you augment all of them okay now what augmenting does is it takes the level of the gem and multiplies it by five and then it adds that much to the main stat of your character so whatever character you're using for example i'm using a demon hunter which is a dex based character so that's why i'm using emeralds because they give dexterity this is going to give us 625 dexterity as a main stat added onto your weapon or gear piece, which you can see right here underneath the reduced cooldown. Plus 625 dex, the Kaladini's Despair rank, 125. So that is what Augmenti does. It gives you main stat and gives you a huge power boost to your character so you can absolutely destroy. So now how do you go about getting this stuff that you need to actually augment your character? So we all know that you can find gems, right? So you find gems, you're gonna level these up to the highest. It's pretty easy to do. Next, you're gonna need legendary gems, which you get from doing greater rifts. Greater rifts are very important. Each time you complete a greater rift, you're gonna get a legendary gem until you have all of them, okay? Once you have that, all you gotta do next is find an ancient item that you want to augment. So it's pretty easy. Now, when it comes to actually picking the legendary gem that you wanna use, it needs to not be one that you're going to use for your character. So for example, I'm playing the God DH here. The gems I need to use is Taguk, Simplicity Strength, and Bane of the Trapped. So once you find the legendary gems that you're going to use for your main character that you're playing, you're gonna level those up first. Always level these up first, that's most important. Once you get these to a comfortable level or whatever you're doing, like level 50, 70, whatever you're at, then, as you're leveling these up, you're gonna find all the other legendary gems and you're just gonna pick one to level up to augment into your gear. So the next thing is, is well, which gem do you pick? It doesn't matter. You can pick any one of these gems. It doesn't really make a difference, but we do have a special, a special move, right? A Gallic gun, a way to power us up and just a trick that makes this process a lot easier. Once you get to level 70, you're able to find petrified screams. This is the bonus round. This is the extra training that you needed. Once you find petrified screams, they're gonna unlock an arena mode called Echoing Nightmares. Completing an Echoing Nightmare at wave 126 or higher is gonna give you a maxed Whisper of Atonement, which is 125. If you finish it less than 126, you're gonna get a less ranked gem. So for example, if you finish it at level at wave 101, you're gonna get a Whisper of Atonement of 100 rank. So you wanna get to 126, and then you just finish the Echoing Nightmare and you get a 125 Whisper of Atonement. This is the by far the fastest way to get a legendary gem to augment into your gear, as opposed to leveling up a gem. Now, to equal a 125 gem, we would have to take the Molten Wildebeest Gizzard and we would have to run GRs, right? If you run GRs and you empower them, they're gonna get one extra point that you can add in. So you automatically earn three every single time you do a Greater Rift. If you don't die, you get a fourth point. 
And then if you empower it, you get a fifth point. So if we empower them and we get to do five every single time and we're clearing in two minutes or less, we have to complete 20 greater rifts to get to 100. Then we'd have to complete another five. So we'd have to complete 25 greater rifts in order to get this to 125. But that's really difficult because to get to 125, I'd have to, a 122, if you think about it, about 10 GRs less is where you start to lose out at 100% chance to get another point. So it's gonna take a while to get that to 125, whereas doing an Echoing Nightmare, you can do in five minutes, three minutes, and then if you complete it at 126 wave or higher, you get a 125 ranked Whisper of Atonement, and this is the best way. The question is after that is what level should you get a gem to to augment first? Well, like I said, in our seasonal journey, guys, in Conqueror, you go down and they have a power amplification, ampli amplification uh, objective that you have to complete, which is can I cube augment an ancient legendary item with a level 50 gem? So I would recommend level 50 as soon as possible. You get these to level 50, take your ancient item, boom go into the cube and just augment that sucker sucker and you're going to get a huge huge power boost to your character and you're just going to be able to just molly -wop the entire game okay now after that you're well you're probably like well i don't want just a level 50 on here because that's not a whole lot of decks that's only 50 times five right that's only 250 points that's not a lot well you can always re-augment an item with a higher level gem. So for example, if I have the 50 on here and I wanna augment with my Whisper of Atonement, I can do that. We had 250 on here, but a Whisper of Atonement augmented is 625. So yes, you can always re-augment your gems on here, but you need to augment as fast as possible, almost immediately while you're building up your character. I would always augment on whatever main character that you're using doesn't matter what it is whatever you're playing this season it's your main augment that build first don't augment any other builds get it this is what's going to help push you to greater with 150 it's going to allow you to do 120s in under two minutes so augment as soon as possible now the next question guys is what piece of gear should i be augmenting this is always a tricky one because you always want to augment your best stuff right so for example let's look at our gear here so I had this chest piece that has some, oops, I have this chest piece that has some pretty darn good stats. If we look at it, this is something we like to do in the Diablo world is min maxing is that that's what I call it. So this chest piece is pretty dang good, right? It has 643 decks out of 650, 633 or 637 out of 650 vitality. And I can reroll the, the all resist to max if I need to, but then we have the max discipline, which is okay. I really wish I could have gotten like reduced range damage or something from elites, but that's okay. So this is a really good piece to augment. Another good example, guys, is my Hunter's Wraths here. So when we're looking at our Hunter's Wraths, right? Let's take my belt out here so, and let's compare the two. So we have two ancient items here and we wanna augment one the best. So my equipped one, has grenade damage, but that's easily replaceable, right? We can just make that hungering arrow damage. So we wanna look at it. This is called min maxing. So my equipped one has a better dex, has a worse vitality, has a better all resist, and then both of them with re-rolling on the equipped piece will both have a max of 15% hungering arrow damage. And then when you look at the ability, my equipped one is at, it's the worst of the worst roll, guys. It's 150 out of 200%. And then my other one's 178% out of 200. So ideally, which one we would, we, would we want to augment first if we were trying to pick between these two? Whichever one is gonna be harder to replace, right? Because my equipped one, I, I can only get so much more dex, so much more vitality. I can only get a smidge of more all resist and our hungering arrow damage is gonna be perfect. They're gonna match because I can reroll it, right? So the big difference here is that my non-equipped one has a much better primary skill damage increase. And it's really not that much worse 
than my currently equipped one. I'm, all, I'm only losing about 40 decks, which isn't bad to have a 28% increased damage for my primary skills. So for this one, I would probably upgrade this one right here because we have our skill damage, our skills attacks are gonna do more damage. So you wanna, you wanna augment whichever one is harder to replace. Right now you could argue out of the two because the other one has the much better decks. But then again, the primary skills is gonna be much easier to replace. So we're gonna go with this one, right? So you wanna augment whichever one, whichever piece out of every ancient item you have is harder to replace. Now, for example, if we looked at my chest piece here compared to the Hunter's Wrath, if we were picking out of these two, then we would augment the chest piece first because this one's going to be much harder to replace. So that's how I would do it when it comes to augmenting first. Now, when it comes to how powerful our augments are, let's just take a look here. Right now, we're doing 3.9 million sheet damage, right? I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six augmented items right now. Now let's go in here real quick. And your guys' decks when you do this is probably gonna be much less. So you're gonna get a much bigger power increase. But for context, let me go ahead and just swap a few items here just to show you how powerful this actually is. We're gonna swap those three items there and I don't have a replacement chest piece, but just to show you. So if we replace our gloves, and our two items here, we go to 1.6 million. That's only three augments, guys. That's three augments. So if we put it back in here, now we go to 3.9. So we, we are doing more than double damage from three augments. Three items being augmented, we do more than double our damage more than double our damage which is absolutely insane and that's that's not only the best thing look at our toughness our toughness goes from 59 to 67 just with three augments just with three augments guys it's a huge power increase so next we're going to show you guys real quick how to actually do the augment i know we talked about it in the very beginning but you, if you guys forgot i'm gonna show you again so we actually have an item. We're going to go into the Kanai's Cube. We're going to go to page 10. Okay. We actually have our squirts here that we need to augment. Okay. Now, this isn't the best squirts amulet, but it is ancient. We have fire damage, which we have on a lot of our de Demon Hunter builds. And we have a pretty good crit damage roll. It's not the best. It actually could be a lot better. But our critical hit chance, we can just keep re rolling to 10%. So this is not a bad squirts. And this is a good example of me augmenting this to where I'll just replace this once I get one better because this can be easier to replace than some other things. But so you're going to take your ancient item. We got three of our flawless gems. And then we have our legendary gem that we need, right? We got our legendary gem, which is 125. And then all you're going to do is transmute. And then boom, squirts necklace right underneath critical hit chance. We have plus 625 decks. I augment almost all my characters every single season, especially the main ones I play. So get out there, do it, farm these uh, petrified screams, get your whisper of atonements and just augment your character like crazy. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Uh, make sure to come check us out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're streaming Diablo 3, Diablo 4 in a couple months when it comes out. And we're doing uh, the last Apoc, which has been really, really fun, guys. So I hope you guys like that kind of content in the channel. So I love my community a lot. They've helped me on that game. It's actually really fun. So make sure to check out content for that. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.